Welcome back to another video guys. Today I'm going to share with you a Peapod grocery haul um, and I wanted to kind of share um, my Peapod experience with others in case um, you've never tried it, you were thinking about doing it. Um, I love it so much that I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so if you don't know, Peapod is a grocery delivery service by Giant and um, I started using Peapod when I had foot surgery about, I would say a year and a half to two years ago. Um, I was in a cast, I was in a walking boot, and pretty much grocery shopping was very hard for me to do, almost impossible to do on my own. So I thought that Peapod would be a good thing to try. Um, I've already was a giant grocery shopper. Giant is like my favorite, one of my favorite grocery stores. Um, so I decided to um, give it a try. Now I liked it so much, <laughs> I'm fully recuperated, but I still do use Peapod um, every two weeks for my general groceries. Now I do go to other stores like Trader Joe's, Sam's, and Costco's, um, but for just general things, um, I still use Peapod. Now, um, if you don't know how it works, it's uh, peapod.com you sign up you create a profile and account you can use your giant card if you're already a giant shopper load that to your profile you will get the same deals that you would get if you were shopping physically in the store so that's a neat thing and you will also accumulate gas points the same way you would if you were physically in the store so I still get my gas points. It's a great thing uh, and I love it. Now, what I also like about Peapod that I find that's a little bit different from the other um, delivery stores such as um, Instacart or Shipped is that they will bring your groceries up to the location or to the location um, in your house that you want. I have a significant flight of stairs coming up from um, my ground level to my kitchen so I don't have to worry about carrying heavy groceries up. They do carry those up for me. Um, in addition, I, I usually get heavy items like the 35 count bottled water. Um, they bring that up as well. So it really saves me from a lot of heavy lifting. So I do like Instacart for, you know, if I forgot a few things and I need something really, really quick, um, the, they can, you can get same day delivery for, um, for that. Peapod, you got to plan a little bit ahead, but that's easy for me because I create a grocery list ahead of time and, you know, um, three days before I can go on and put all my items in my cart and pick my delivery date and um, they give you a delivery window. They will text you when your driver's on the way, when your driver arrives. And I just really like the service. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to get into what I brought today. Um, just so you could see that the quality of ingredients and in that is pretty much the same quality if you were physically shopping in the store. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show is this margarita pizza that um, is giant. It's giant brand, so I only get it from giant. And they have this, um, and I think a veggie, but this is really, really good. Um, it comes with mozzarella cheese, tomato, extra virgin olive oil, and basil. I love it. Now, I also am a meat person, so I add pepperoni to mine. So I got this, and I just got pepperoni to add to it. Quick meal, quick weeknight meal. Love it. Um, so I got some ground beef, and you see they picked out this meat. I did not pick it out. Look how fresh it is. Is exactly what I would have gotten if I was in the store so some ground beef and I got the ground beef to make a dish called hamburger pie um, so it's a meat filling meat filling um, and crust a bottom and top crust and then some cheese so I got um, this cheese to go in it and I'm mentioning that because I'm going to make a video of how to make the hamburger pie because I think that it's a great dish it's easy and I want to share it with you guys so those things I got from hamburger pie I got some chicken cutlets I'm going to make turkey um, not turkey chili chicken chili um, with this so I also got some cannellini beans for the chicken chili I got some corn um, 
the white chicken chili seasoning. I love to use this. It's very easy. And I like to put cheese. Um, top mine with cheese and sour cream. I already have sour cream in the refrigerator, but I needed some cheese. Okay, and I got some pepper because I was out of pepper. Okay, so I also got um, these Jif to go um, peanut butter cups, snack cups. I like to eat these as a snack. Um, I should be eating them with celery, but I don't. I usually eat them with pretzels. Um, so this is a quick little snack I can take with me to work. Okay, um, I got some Greek non-fat yogurt. I like to make my own remoulade sauce um, out of Greek yogurt, just like a low-fat remoulade. I eat with shrimp and things like that, crab cakes, stuff like that. This is my absolute favorite crystal light. It's strawberry watermelon. I love it. <laughs> um, I, that's how I get, I'm able to up my water intake by drinking Crystal Light. I do not drink sodas or juice. So I need something other than water. So um, this strawberry watermelon Crystal Light is so good. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. Um, this is my favorite um, tomato sauce, sauteed onion and garlic ragu. Um, I'm going to use this in the hamburger pie. So I got a bunch of bags of this broccoli walkly. Um, I love broccoli. Um, I'm not a huge veg veggie eater, but broccoli is my favorite. So I get this and I'll roast it um, in the oven. So I got about four bags of broccoli. Um, I got red bell peppers. I always keep these on hand for something. I'll use it in something. I'm not sure what yet. Um, and then I got jumbo raw shrimp. Sometimes I make shrimp cakes with this, but I think this time I'm just going to roast them in the oven with some seasonings. That would be a quick night, um, weeknight meal as well. Now these, you may be able to find these frozen french fries other places than Giant, but I know Giant has them. I have, haven't seen them at like shoppers or anywhere like that, but they may have them now. But these are the Grown in Idaho Lamb Weston Super Crispy Creakle Cut Fries. They do have other kind of cuts. But these are the best frozen french fries that I have ever tasted. I mean, you don't even have to put any seasoning or salt on them. They're already, you know, seasoned. I put them in my air fryer. It's very crispy. I love them. So, I know I can get these from Giant. So I also like these baked um, scoops, Tostito scoops. Um, I eat this with my chicken chili because I need a little crunch. So um, the baked ones are a little bit healthier. So I get those. Um, now I got my mom a bunch of, about four bags of these no salt added potato chips. She has to watch her salt intake, but she loves potato chips. These are nasty to me, but <laughs> she eats them and she loves them. So um, they're hard to find, but Giant has them. So I got her a bunch of those. Now, don't judge me, but I stocked up on some barbecue pork rinds. Um, I like to um, munch on things and these are no carbs. Um, so instead of potato chips, Doritos, and all that kind of stuff, I will eat these as a snack. And so I sucked up on them, got about five bags of those. Um, of course, they got me some eggs and just a few essential things like aluminum foil and um, palm olive dish soap. And I think that is everything. Oh, one more thing. I got um, a couple more things, actually. Some Brussels sprouts. I like to roast these or basically saute them um, on top of the stove with some bacon um, and, a little, and a little bit of um, chicken stock. Delicious. Um, and then I got these um, plain bagel thins. So I'll have that for a sandwich or something. Um, and they're only, what, 110 calories, so they're good. Um, and I think that is it for the haul. Thank you for joining me. Um, hope you consider Peapod 
Um, they're, this is not endorsed by people out or anything. I just wanted to ensure, um, just to let people know what my experience is like in case you were thinking about trying them. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.